Well, I can tell you this. It's uh, never a given that you're going to be a champion or you're going to have a successful season. Um, I don't ever take a day for granted that we leave practice. I'm like, man, we got a lot to do. And I'm the worst critic out there because I always think we're awful as I, I know what it takes to be the best team in the country. And, you know, I spend every day figuring out how can we get closer to that uh, mark, both physically and mentally. But um, I learned this a few years ago and I was talking to one of my hitters and hitting is such an emotional um, game within the game. Uh, you know, your mentality as a hitter is every bit as important as your, your actual, the mechanics of your swing. And she was a really great hitter, but she was really up and down. And her best friend on the team was a local Chicago and that they're both from Chicago land. And uh, her best friend wasn't quite as talented as her, but I was talking about what made Abby, the best friend, so consistent. And I said, she is so consistent emotionally. She is consistent every day. You never know whether she's having a good day or a bad day. You don't know if she's having a good at bat or a bad at bat. And I realized I was talking to every person who needed to realize that being just consistent in your own self is the one of the key components of being successful because you can't you can't ride the roller coaster that goes with wins and losses and who doesn't I've never lost a game that I don't come home and I'm not like sitting there saying oh I'll just be consistent today but there it is an emotional roller coaster and you can't get caught up in it and you really have to stay in your moment and as I advise kids on that all the time um being consistent in yourself is the first step as a coach. And I recognize that ups and downs are part of the game and I, everybody needs their space. I need about, well, if I get home at nine o'clock at night, I've got until uh, two o'clock the next day to get over it. And then I've got to find a way to propel us to the next step and propel us forward and find something good we can take away from it. So I think the first thing that starts with being consistent as a coach and learning that, um, you know, you are that key component.